just like you said. Not a sound. Perfect. That should do the trick. You know my fee. Get me my R6 to Silver, and I'll double it. Nice and quiet. Yeah, that should keep the R6 happy. Come on. Your deal. Palace. Did you feel something just then? Like what? I don't know, I felt something odd. Like an earthquake or something. Probably just a train. I'll... I'll take a look. know about metal development, Beckett? A little. This place operates under government license to develop new metals and alloys for various applications. I gathered as much. Some very secret advances made here recently. Advances which could have major implications for our economic future. In particular? A new metal called R6. It will be a highly efficient superconductor. My department has high hopes for it. Unfortunately, at the moment, it also has certain other properties. It's rather unstable. So these tapes didn't pick up the break in all the explosion? Well, someone's been playing home videos. Look. An interruption to the signal. Where was that shot of the guard? There he is, fit and well. I know he's lying unconscious in a hospital. Oh, hang on, Rosie. Are you saying that that isn't Wallace? Well, that's Wallace, but look. That is not yesterday's paper. 
Oh, it's an old recording. Someone's interrupted the feed to the security camera and fed this to the recorder instead. That's a hell of a lot of trouble to go to and not steal anything. I mean, the other weird thing is the guard reckons he didn't hear an explosion. Actually, there's a reason for that. There's something you should know about this R6. What, it makes people deaf? Uh, not exactly, no. I've asked Mr Vermeer to explain. He's the vice president. Watch. Resonant frequency. Exactly. Uh... I never did much of the way of physics at school. I was more into biology. Ed, at the correct frequency, the glass absorbs so much energy that it explodes. Okay? And the same thing happens with R6, right? Something similar. But R6 is more volatile. Watch. Wow. So you could make some innocent metal object from R6, like a fountain pen, send it to your least favorite national leader, expose it to that resonant frequency, and... Bang. Election time. And no evidence of how it was done. Yes, that is our fear. Imagine how dangerous it could be if it fell into the wrong hands. You must ensure that doesn't happen. Well, we're going to need um, full access to your existing security setup. We do have a very good security system here. Very good security system. Wasn't up to much last night, was it? Fancy swapping places? I thought you liked heights. Tastes can change. What do you want this for, anyway? I just want to add a trick or two to the system. Oh, did you see that place over there? Yeah. And the cameras might have picked something up last night? I don't know. They're in the right place. I'll tell Beckett to get over there. Uh, Ross? Yeah. No need for that. I think I can handle this one. No, I'm afraid it's impossible. If we could take a look at those tapes, it would be a major help to our investigation. It's company policy. You know, you could, um... You could keep an eye on me the whole time, personally. I'm sorry. The head of security is very strict. When they change the tapes, Mr. Thomas insists they go in the safe straight away. Yeah, very sensible. And I guess they, uh, they change the tapes frequently, do they? Eight o'clock each night on the dot. Mr. Thomas says our security system is state of the art. when you are. You've got less than 20 minutes, Ed. When you reach the camera, attach the box to its side. No need to do anything else. I can access their video recorder through the box, OK? Quick as you can, Ed. You've got 16 minutes before they change their tapes. All right, all right. You guys want to come up and do it quicker? Don't say a word. Don't, not a thing, all right? Everyone's a critic. OK, Ross, I've attached it. Start recording now. Can we get it all down before they change tapes? Speed recording at a ratio 100 to 1. I need 14 minutes, 24 seconds.
so I brought something to read. Keep still, Ed. Company. Ed. I almost hear your heart pounding. It's okay, guys. He's gone. Are you sure you're using the fast forward? I'm going as fast as I can. Oh no. What's wrong with it? I don't believe it. Someone must have changed tapes. Someone wants to go home early. Hey, do you might as well come down. I said we got enough, eh? Ed, hurry up. State of the art security. They didn't even lift the drawbridge. Look, this is incredible. There's the explosion and the cloud of debris. But look at the foreground. A couple of security guys. I'll show it to you again. Now, there's the explosion, but look at them. No reaction at all. Exactly. They were right. There was no sound. The explosion was silent. Roz, how do you attach a silencer to a lump of Semtex? Well, you can't, not physically. But there's been a lot of development on sound repression lately. Yeah, but that's only small-scale stuff. That's car phones. Look, every noise has its own frequency pattern, right? Now, the theory goes, if you create the negative image of that frequency and transmit it at the same time as the noise is created, the one cancels out the other. Result? Silence. Just theory, isn't it? Well, it looks like someone's finally worked out a way of actually doing it. Hmm. And what's next? Hang on. There's one more thing you should see. See? It was an inside job. Yeah, hang about. That's that guard that ended up in hospital, isn't it? What's his face? Wallace. Best cover, isn't it? Takes the pressure off him. Right now, he's our best lead. I think I'll go and see what he's got to say for himself. Changing Mr. Wallace's drip. last night. I'll see what he says. Mr. Wallace? Hold it, please. Which room? Okay, bye. Room number four. Thanks. I haven't seen him before, have you? Nurse? Nurse, quickly! I don't know. Here today, gone tomorrow, some of these doctors.
Lawrence, you're right. Yes. Who was he? Family friend. Oh, they never did get on. Hey. Did you switch this on? It's recording. You're gonna have to do better than that, pal. Voice print will take a few minutes to scan in. You sure you're all right, Beckett? Yeah, I'm fine. There we go. Washington won't mind us using their files, will they? Have you asked? I don't usually. That's fine. Beckett! There we are. That's him. Joseph De Silva, specialist in high-tech terrorism. He's a freelance, gun for hire. Not fussy who he works for, is he? Active in Libya, Israel, United States, Russia. <laughs> Nothing I like more than a well-traveled nut. How do we find him? Wallace. There's two bugs on him. And in the meantime? I'm going to see Kent at the research center. You go find Vermeer. Ask him who else knows about this R6. Mr. Vermeer, this is an inside job for sure. Well, what do you say? The guard, Wallace, he let the man in. Uh, of course. Yeah, we think there must have been another leak. The Raiders knew exactly what they were after. That's why they had to silence their explosion. Now, Kent tells us R6 is highly secret. Who else knows it exists? Only a few of my most trusted employees. Oh, and Charlesworth, of course. I'd forgotten him. Who's Charlesworth? He led the research team that discovered R6 by accident. Can we speak to him? He left our employ some time ago. We fell out over R6. We tried to stabilize it so it can be used for what it was intended. But he wanted to exploit its explosive nature as a weapon. The research centre keeps a small amount of R6. We're trying to improve its stability. There's really nothing to worry about. Our security here is very good. That's what Vermeer thought. You should have told me before you had R6 on these premises. I didn't think it was relevant. <laughs> of course it's relevant. De Silva wants it that badly, he'll go anywhere he can get it. Well, you won't get it from here. to be completely adequate. Let me be the judge of that. Now listen here, Beckett. I hired you to protect the R6 of Vermeers, not to interfere here. Hey, you! the security modifications here. And I'll tell you something. De Silva tries to get into Millennium Metals again. He's going to be in for quite a shock. I'm sorry, Mr. Wallace. I've no instructions from the doctor about you leaving today. Listen. It's not actually as bad as it looks. The bullet managed to miss anything major. You were lucky. And you were right about the research centre being a target. Beckett, Wallace is just getting himself discharged. I'll meet you at the car. Wallace is on the move, Ed. We're tailing him. OK. Finish up and get mobile. We might need you out here. I'm on my way, sir. Oh, 
park the car, madam. Ross, valet park it. Give him the key. Give him the key. You won't hurt it. Come on. Which way? That wasn't part of the deal. Oh! Sorry, security. We'll come back later. Just must be low. Let's try this one. said that you would hurt me. It had to look good, you fool. I want more money. I'm sorry about this. Mr. Charlesworth, what are you doing here? You better deal with this. Charlesworth, he used to work at Vermeer's. Then meet me later. He's leaving. I oh, don't want to trust this one, Mr. Charlesworth. He'll only try and cheat you. This won't take long. I don't want any more foul-ups. I'll get Ed to check him out. Ed, hey, where are you? I'm in the lobby. I just got here. Yeah, well, don't get too comfortable. I've got a little job for you. OK, Ed. He's all yours. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Big spender. Let's put a tracer on it. Shh, I'm trying to listen. Go on fire. I'll take the window. I'll take the stairs. Wallace. He's dead. Becky! Down. It's okay, Becky. He's got Wallace's bag with your bug in it.
Beckett, you there? Receiving. You there? Listen. Here, yeah, look, I've, uh, I've found where Charlesworth was headed. We lost to Silver. He dumped the bag I bugged. Now listen, Ed. I want you to check the place out, but no heroics. Be careful. All right, Pete. Surprise, surprise. Guess who turned up? To Silver? Yep. Okay, Ed. Listen to me. I want you to see if you can get a bug on them. We need to know what to Silver and Charlesworth are planning. I think I might be able to get something on one of the windows near them. Hang on. Dealt with. Good. We must get the R6 tonight. Some of that sample from the research center had first level stabilization. If Kent's people perfect the technique, the R6 will be useless to me. listening device, but I think I can use the silencer on it. That's not perfect, but it should do the trick. Must be one of Beckett's people. Beckett? Specialists Kent called in. Don't worry, I can handle them. Yo, something wrong with this bug Ross gave me, I'm telling you. I... Oh, there we go. Millennium Metals is now about as safe as I can make it. Ed says he's still not getting anything. You're joking. I took that bug myself. Ed, you better try another one. Ed, I can't believe that bug's NG. It must be something else. Well, whatever it is, I'm going to go for it. I've put in an additional six external and eight internal cameras. Heat detectors and motion detectors at random intervals on this floor and the one above. And what about the floor below? Funny, Beckett, there isn't one. <laughs> now, the vault door has been automatically electrified. Any unauthorized persons get in here and try to open it. Nasty. Well, that's about it. Even the Pink Panther would find it virtually impossible to get in here and steal the R6 now. I'd say he'd find it completely impossible. Thank you, Beckett. Because there's no R6 in here to steal. What's so special about this R6? Quite simply, 
R6 is unique. Unique? I guess you've done a nice little deal with some foreign terrorists. You talk too much. I'll show you how special R6 is. Well, next time, check the stuff's in the room first. No sign of Amir? Absolutely nothing. He told his staff that you gave orders for all the R6 to be removed to a safer place. It's completely untrue. Of course. But all the R6 has been loaded onto a lorry and driven away. By Vermeer himself? No. He took one of the guards with him. I trusted him. Just tell me one thing, okay? Do you think he's working with Charlesworth and De Silva on this? <laughs> Unlikely. He and Charlesworth detest each other. Popular stuff, this R6. This is against all regulations, Mr. Vermeer, sir. Stop him like this. I wrote the regulations. Yes, sir. But one of us should stay with the truck. Of course. I will. Here, get whatever you fancy. Thank you, sir. More discreet than Semtex. More powerful than nitroglycerin. Self detonating. There's more than enough here to kill you. <laughs> you don't say. I'd whisper if I were you. Your voice could set it off. <laughs> and there you have a movement detector. This is linked to a sound generator. If you break the beam. Ed. Shh. Ed, where are you? Listen. Come in. Someone's trying to contact him. Ed, look, I can't hear you, but I assume you can hear me. Vermeer seems to have tricked everybody. He's disappeared with all the R6 and made a run for it. We're looking for him now. Try to get back in touch. Vermeer, he's stolen the R6. You told me Vermeer did exactly what the government said. You told me he was above reproach. Unbribable, you said. I know, I know. Beckett, have you managed to get into traffic control okay? Yeah, well, I don't think I've ever used the words national interest quite so much. And I'll be owing favors until I'm 60. But you've got what we need. Yeah, I got what you need. Let's just hope it helps us find Vermeer. With the R6 being so unstable, he should be taking it gently. Pull yourself together. I've spent months perfecting the silencer technology. I'm not giving up now. He refused to let me market it. And I stole him my invention. I thought R6 was a mistake. An experiment that went wrong. <sighs> you screwed up over Vermeer. But this man's friends should lead us to him. Pick up the headphones and let's go. If you break the beams, the generator will produce the exact resonant frequency of this piece of R6. That tone will be the last thing you hear. Unless you hear the phone. I've said the answer machine to play the same tone. Insurance, if you like. Come on, anyone can phone. A wrong number or anything. Yeah. Good, isn't it? You better hope your friends don't try to ring. So long. And remember, don't break those beams. from Vermeer's house, but there's no sign of him so far. No, he hasn't shown up here either. Yep. I reckon he might head for the coast. Somehow I don't think his R6 and aeroplanes are exactly compatible. Hang on, Rod. There's a report just come in here. Vermeer's lorry's been stolen from outside a snack bar.
I've got him. He's at a roundabout. He's coming out to junction eight. I think he's going to turn off. Yep, there he goes. He's taking the A road southeast. Okay, that is the coast road. We'll call you as soon as we spot him. Got that? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Shouldn't take long. Beckett, ask them to patch me into their system and give me a live feed of their video. And you, take to the road. there. Can you get me down closer? We've got him. Still on the same road. You were right about him not being in any hurry. Good. I'm not far behind. Still going southeast. No sign of turning off. It's just typical of Vernier. First he stole my invention and fired me. He's nicked my plan to exploit the R6 as an explosive. It's just business, that's all. If it's just business, why did we leave that bloke behind to die? We've got no quarrel with him. The arms trade is no place for the weak-hearted. I just want to make money out of my invention. I don't want to kill people. Second exit. You were nearly right about the coast, Becky. I think he's heading for the river. Oh, the river. I know where he's going. He's got a boat down here. We don't need the helicopter to guide us. I know a quicker way. so as not to frighten them, you get in as close as you can. OK. Excellent. I've got the signal loud and clear. Is there any sign of it? No. I'm getting worried about him. But well, don't worry about him. He's probably got his feet up somewhere. I might have guessed. I knew it was you trying to steal my product. Had to get someone to help you, I see. It's my product, my invention. The government's, actually. We worked under license, remember? So why are you stealing it? Same as you, to make money. Just that I'm better at making money than you are. You wouldn't even let me try. We'd both be in jail now if you'd had your way. But we could share it. We could both share the money. I don't think so. Trucks are swing to the left. It's parked by the river next to a boat. We're 
We're coming into land. Sir Beckett, we meet again. Shall we wait for your friends to join us? Oh, Beckett World. Yeah. You really have done very well so far. But I'm afraid you go no further. I've got buyers lined up for this material. And they're not the sort of people you can disappoint. I don't want to seem obvious, but what makes you think we won't try and stop you? Ross, I... Your colleague is currently languishing in a cellar, unable to move. Near him is a quantity of R6, just ready to explode when the correct tone is played from the telephone answer machine. Unless you help us get away safely, I'll have no hesitation in dialing the number and blowing him up. It's a bluff. No, it's not. He means it. Yeah, that's Ed's headset. But how do we know the rest is true? I assure you it is. He killed Vermeer, he'll kill your friend. You're getting squeamish? You wanted to make money out of an explosive. Explosives kill people. But Vermeer's dead. I could take over the company. Sell the R6 legitimately. Don't be stupid. The number is... O... A... One... Six... Four, three, three, one, nine, one. I only have to press the send button, and it'll connect the call. Now, do as I say. Load the R6 into the other car. Speak to him. Let's call him. No, for God's sake! There's nothing. I'm sorry about your friend. I didn't mean anything to Sorry! Happen. He's sorry. You ain't as sorry as you're gonna be. Hello? Howdy. It's me. Listen, I hope I haven't missed all the fun. I've been a little tied up. Ross. For you. Hello? Aren't you the lucky boy, then? You can't keep a good man down. Here. This is for all of you. 
Don't worry, it's not our six, it's silver. A little memento in addition to your fee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What about the R6? Did you uh, manage to find a way of stabilizing it? No, the whole program has had to be abandoned. It's probably a good thing. It's dangerous stuff. Now, let me tell you, it required considerable skill to get out of that cellar. In fact, it kind of reminded me of trying to, trying to set a new line across the, uh, the car and dig buttress on Ben Nevis. You know the one. Now, it's four pitches of mega dangerous stuff. The crux, of course, is a small crack. A small crack across an overhang. What are you going to do? I don't know what you're going to do. I tell you what, you can't fix any protection anywhere. You're 500 foot above the ground. You hang in there like a sloth. Don't you just love the sound of silence? 